Hello, Habibi here again with another tutorial this time about Unity game development. I have this game developed uh, so far to this stage. I have a free car driving game like this. I can control it with uh, my keyboard. With arrow keys, I can move this car. So this time, the something I want to share it to you is uh, my car. Is my if my car is entering the water like this, so it is uh, unrealistic if the car is entering the water and it still can run like like this. So in this video tutorial, I will show you how to make uh, this thing that if the car is entering the water, it should reset the position of the car to the uh, initial position of my car actually if i hit the r key in my keyboard the car is going to return to the original position so in this tutorial just for a, an example if i move toward the sea uh, to the water if my car touches the water it should be returned to the original position this position so what i'm going to do is uh, to add a script that detect that detect that is the car is inside the water or not the, the way to do that is first I must uh, I must select the water this is the water water object which is plain uh, let me change the name to water then I'm going to create create a script here let me create a C sharp script. Water, I will call it water detection. Open the script. Here we go. I'm going to delete these lines and start coding it. Void on collision enter collision. This block of script is going to be executed when the object which is the car is entering the water so here I'm going to check the collision what is the collision we have touch in this case the collision uh, based by based on the name if the collision is water then what it should reset the position the position of the car i have another uh, previously i've uh, created the script that can return the car into the this original position the script is here uh, let me find it Where is it? I think it is here. Games. Here, it is the script. It is the function that I've made to return to to put back the car into the original position so i can just call this 
function I copy that inside and paste it here oh I'm sorry it's not the right uh, where is it here it is just uh, the script to return the car into the original position so I just need to Ah, I need to modify this script first like this public void return the car so return the car is this script then I replace that with I replace this with the, this return the car then I copy this function function and I call it here return the car let me test it let's see how does it work or not oh sorry I I'm not finished yet with the um, So this function just for a quick fix for this let me du duplicate this function and copy this block of code to to this uh, to this script this way um, it should be inside should be inside this block this way uh, and of course I must copy this one too previously I've made this script so this time in this tutorial I I only want to copy and paste my previous script uh, I need this and put it here. I know it's not uh it is not efficient, but it is just an example to show you how to do this task. Here I must I will explain it later. Let me do my job first. If I start, okay, start. So what's happening here is I have this variable original position and original rotation. When the guy when the game is started, original position, the value of original position is the current value of the position of the car when we start the game and that also the original rotation is the current rotation value of the car on when we start the game so the position and rotation is stored here in this variable when we start the game then if the car is colliding or touching the water then we call this function return the car which is the car what is going what is going to happen is this the car the current car position and the current car rotation should be the original position and original rotation okay let's let's test this script let's see does it work or not Oh, the car doesn't exist in current context. Okay, let me fix it. The car. So, what is the car? Let let's delete this. Wait. Okay, and check another error. The car doesn't exist. So this I want to delete this one too. Check again. 
still we have the car issue here no it's clear now let's start oh oh okay let's see does it work or not let me test the r button does it work or not r uh, yes it is returning the car into the current position and rotation so let's go to the water let's see does it does the car back to the initial position and rotation or not actually i didn't add the collision let's see does it work or not it doesn't work okay so what makes it doesn't work is because we didn't attach this script to the car so what I'm going to do is to attach this script this is our new script and where is the car here is the car car is here and let's just uh, try to attach this script into this sports car I'm going to grab it here drag and drop it here and let's see let's go into the water here we go we are going to the water now the car is returned to the original position let's go back to the water again Oops, why? I know what the problem is. Okay, the problem is because this car doesn't exactly go into the water. So to solve this problem, I must made uh, this lake a little bit, little bit deeper. It is very. It's not a deep lake. Uh, let's go to the car. You see, this green area here doesn't touch the water, so the script doesn't run. If I bring the car a little bit lower to make sure that this this green area touches the water and start the game resume resume the game now car car is going back to the original position so my problem should be solved by making this lake the ground of the the bottom of this lake to be more deeper okay thank you for watching this tutorial let's uh, see you next time